This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar covering audio techniques inside Apple Final Cut Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Audio is a huge part of any project, but far too often we concentrate on the image rather than the sound. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you three techniques that you can use to repair the sound of your audio. The first problem is trying to match two mics. If I listen to this mic, this is microphone one. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent recorded on different days using different mics to sound the same. This is microphone two. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent recorded on different days using different mics to sound the same. Okay, the way we fix that is we select this clip and go to the Enhancements menu, and notice it says Match Audio. With the clip that you want to adjust selected, choose this, and then click the clip that has the sound you want, and apply Match. And now listen. On different days, using different mics to sound the same. This is Microphone 2. Let's pull that gain up a bit, right about there. Using different mics to sound the same. This is Microphone 2. One of our key audio challenges... See how it took the audio characteristics of the first mic and applied it to the second. We still had to adjust the gain to get it to sound consistent. But the audio quality is very close in a way it wasn't the very first time before we applied that filter. The second is a clip that has hum in it except the hum was removed automatically. Remember when we imported a clip it said fix audio problems was checked? Because that's checked, if I go up to here and go up to the audio inspector and go down to, let's just double click this. Double click where it says audio analysis, let's just show this. It will adjust clips which are too soft or that have noise or that have hum. Let's take this out. I think it is inescapable. Pretty hummy. So now we'll turn it on. I think it is inescapable. And now let's turn some loudness on and get that boosted. Like about there. So this is with the features out. I think it is. And the corrections in. Inescapable that whatever success I've had is a side effect of having been trained as a mathematician. Which you got to admit is kind of cool. Now, let's click on this. This one has a noise problem. Absolutely. And we've got, um, we've got two maxims in Object Matrix. And so what we'll do is we'll turn noise removal on and leave the default setting. Absolutely, and we've got, um, we've got two maxims in Object Matrix. First, thing Now that's what we had before, but what's new with Final Cut is voice isolation. And let's turn this on. And what this does is this sort of cleans up everything all with a single click. Absolutely, and we've got, um, we've got two maxims in Object Matrix. First is, if you don't have two copies, you don't have it. Notice that voice isolation reduced the noise took out any unnecessary hum, and boosted the level all at the same time. It's like a one-click approach to fixing all of your problems. There's a couple schools of thought here. One is this kind of effects processing and sound cleanup should be done only when you're doing the final mix. And there's something to be said for that, because you don't want to waste your time cleaning stuff up in the middle of the edit, only to discover later that you don't need the clip. But taking this sound out in the beginning allows you and the client to get a better understanding of what it will sound like when the final mix is done. And you can turn these filters off before the final export. So if you're sending a file to another application, think Pro Tools, then it'll go back in its native unprocessed form so they can dial all that noise out inside the audio editor itself. But if you don't know these tools exist, you'll never use them. And voice isolation is very cool and can salvage audio which would otherwise be unhearable if you didn't have this kind of repair function available to you.